Hi guys, uh, it's Bill again. Um, just making some progress on the machine today. Thought I'd update you and you know, tell you where we're at so far. Today's project um, was to do some tramming on the um, uh, mill columns to get that all squared away. Got that done, turned out I only needed to add one uh, shim to the, uh, to the uh, bottom of one of the mounting lugs. Um, you can see down here where the feet are. It's just a, a tiny shim um, to do that. But that's all I needed to, to bring it in. It was only out a thousand, um, you know, point zero zero one uh, three when we started and now it's out just a little over um, uh, point, uh, zero, zero, four, maybe uh, zero 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 four excuse me um, so for those of you who don't speak tens and thousands and all of that um, you know just one of those things uh, did I just see NYC in uh, NYC CNC just pop in? Uh, not sure. Hey, Dave Gatton. Um, anyway, got that all squared away um, using uh, a tramming tool, and that was pretty cool. And I began to install the chip tray onto the machine. And I'm going to show you what that's. So this is the chip tray, and it adds quite a bit of uh, real estate uh, to this machine. I'm still in the in the process of getting it together, but uh, the table here is almost all the way over um, in its travels. There might be another inch or two left uh, of travel coming uh, in an X negative direction. Okay, um, and you put these on one half at a time. So you put down a, uh, a tape. It's called a um, butyl tape and it's it's like um, putty I'll show you a little piece of that and it's like putty and you put that all the way around the stand and then you poke holes um, in that where there were mounting holes and in this case I used an awl to you know just poke down through the, the tape and locate the hole so um, once you do that you were putting uh, a little 10 millimeter bolts in which was already you know tapped in into the base and it sounds easier than it is <laughs> so um, everything goes fine on these um, side uh, bolts the ones that hold the tray onto the side but when you start getting down into where this goes underneath the uh, bed of the mill those are really hard to get to these ones in the front aren't so bad compared to these ones in the back okay on this side of the machine no big deal you get in there with a, a long socket and, and everything's cool but when you get over to this side of the machine things may get a little dark over here folks so uh, See if I can get some extra light in there. Okay, so down in here, you've got the end of this control panel to deal with. And this face here is just wide enough to fit your hand down in there. And so you've got two bolts there and then further down you've got one and you've got to try and get in there and get it all lined up and the problem is when you're in this location where you have to um, tighten them down you can't see them and so you can't tell whether you know you've got good alignment or anything so it's a real pain I spent about two hours just trying to get that square 
but thankfully we got it we got it done so um, just you know one of those um, oddball things I've never really heard anybody talk about this particular problem uh, until I posted on the, on the forum and said those those back bolts um, I actually posted on the uh, Tormach use operators uh, uh, group and uh, you know that there were several people who said yeah that's that's pretty tight back there it's kind of hard to do so you know just something to watch out for if you ever decide to get one of these things or, or anything um, if you can get the back aligned bef you know before the the front you might you might come out better um, we went with all of the all of the the bolts that were easy to get to and that made it out of line so we had to loosen those back up and that allowed us to to move it in and uh, i ended up using a pry bar to kind of force it back into position so anyway uh we're we're making progress and um i hope uh that we'll be able to go forward with this and put the rest of the enclosure on and um, maybe that'll take uh, you know a day or so or two days at, at the most I hope because um, I'd like to get cutting and um, I'm sure some of you that are waiting for triple edge finders would like me to get cutting too but but there we go all of the things with the automatic tool changer are squared away it's working great um, all of the things with the power draw bar perfect um, highly recommended um, just some coolant things to do and uh, the full enclosure and we should be ready to go so that's where I'm at with this project um, for those uh, switching topics now for a second for those of you who um, ordered software I got um, uh, word back that they're uh, in transit from DHL it should be here tomorrow and we'll be able to ship those out to you from there. Um, I'm going to email you each uh, regarding a, a time to get together to go over the software and get you squared away. So, um, you know, looking forward to that. Uh, the T-shirts are being printed, and hopefully they'll be mailed out soon. I'm not really sure how Teespring works that, but if you ordered a T-shirt, you... Um, You'll get it as soon as you, as they're done and um, you know shipped out. So very cool stuff um, so far, and I, and I just wanted to um, let you guys know what I'm up to and and everything. Hey, Dave, uh, Dave Harshberger, good to uh, good to see you there. Um, Patrick, uh, you too from uh, from the Joe's group. Uh, Good to see you. Keep it up, uh, Patrick. You're inspiring me uh, with your weight loss. I'm going to have to uh, follow you down that road, man. Uh, really great job. Um, so anyway, that's um, that's what we're up to tonight. If you um, have a comment for me, please um, you know, feel free to, to leave it below in, in this thread. Um, I'm going to post this up in a few minutes so anybody who missed it live can see it later. But... Um, you know, we're making progress. It's 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 going pretty uh, pretty good. So I'm I'm happy with that so far. Uh, the other thing that um, the other thing that I, I wanted to say was um, just thank you for everybody being patient with me. I know this isn't CNC router related, but it's kind of like a cousin to to CNC routers. And you know, I hope you're not bored with this. I am working on some other stuff, and as soon as I can uh, get my space back now that I've used up with all of this, um, I'll be able to get on those other projects. So um, tomorrow I have to open this pallet. This is the pallet that includes the uh, enclosure. So... Um, I'm looking forward to, to that and, and seeing what's inside of there and getting rid of the rest of these pallets <laughs> uh, so that I can get this space back. So, 
anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys uh, have any suggestions for me, or particularly if you have any questions for the CNC Router Tips podcast, uh, I could really use some more. Uh, we're doing some shows right now that I've recorded with some interview people, but I'd also like to do the, the Q&A stuff that we, we started with. So if you've got a question, just go to cncroutertips.com slash ask me, and uh, you can leave a voice message uh, with your question, and hopefully um, you know get an answer for that. So... I, uh, you know, I hope that uh, that you'll take a chance and, and give us a question because we can all learn something when, um, you know, when we answer the questions and, and look into things. So take it easy, guys. Have a great night, and thank you uh, for you know all the likes and uh, you know the thumbs up and all of that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks. I'm Bill Griggs. Have a great day.